Welcome to another show, I'm Sid and I haven't made a video in a while so I thought I'd come back and show you a simple outline effect which you may have seen already, there are a couple of videos showing this technique but they're all about a year old so I thought I'd show you how to do it in the newest version of Spark. So let's do that. Ready and go. Okay so here we are in our new project and the first thing I'm going to do is switch over to 2D view here so that we can get a nice clean uh, perspective and it's easier to see what we're doing. Then I'm going to hit add object over here in our scene and we're going to add some rectangles. So let's do that. We'll add a rectangle here. I'm going to rename that person and then I'm going to fill the height and fill the width to make sure that it covers the full screen with this checkerboard pattern. Once I have that, I'm going to right click person here and you can use command D as the shortcut, but I'm going to duplicate that once and rename it thin outline. And then I'm going to duplicate it again and I'm going to rename it thick outline. Don't forget to spell thick with two C's or it doesn't work. That is a rule of the internet in 2020. After that, we're gonna come up here to the camera in our scene. I'm gonna hit texture extraction so that we end up with a camera texture down here in our assets panel. And I'm gonna do the same thing for our segmentation. We want a person segmentation, not hair. So hit that. And then I'm gonna do it again so that we have two of them. I'm gonna rename one of those thin segmentation. And I'm gonna rename the other one thick segmentation. Again, double C's or no dice. Uh, and once we've got that done, we're gonna come back up here to the person and we're gonna hit new material and we're gonna start adding our materials. So for this one, person, obviously, and then thin and thick outlines. Try to name everything consistently just so that you can keep track of what you're doing as you're creating your filter because things can get complicated, especially if you add way, way, way more materials than this and you start adding complex uh, features and things like that. So once we've got that done, we're gonna control select all of these. At the same time, we're gonna change the shader type from standard to flat. You can see that creates this nice white neutral color. And if I come here into colors, I can change it to anything I want. But for now, we're just gonna leave it white. Uh, so next, I'm gonna come up here to person and I'm gonna add the camera texture here and then check this alpha box and I'm gonna add the thin segmentation. So now that we have that done, we're gonna come down to thin outline and we're not gonna add a camera texture here, but we are gonna check this alpha box. We're gonna add our thin segmentation again. It doesn't matter that we already have it on the person. And then we're gonna come down to this thick outline. Same thing, we're not gonna add a texture here, camera texture, but we are gonna check the alpha and add our thick segmentation. Now you can kind of see the effect taking place, but what we're gonna do now, just to make it work a little bit better, is pull up the layers tab here and we're going to rename this one here foreground and i'm going to create a new one and i'm going to rename that background so now we have two layers on screen and what we're going to do is take these two the thin outline and the thick outline and just change the layer type from foreground to background and if nothing changes immediately all that means is your layers are the wrong way around here. So just take your background one and drag it underneath your foreground one. And as you can see, it's already starting to work. And if I zoom in a little bit here, you can see the beginnings of the effect that we're going for. So now I'll come back to the scene here. And the next thing I'm gonna do is change the color. Just so that it's a little bit clearer, I'm gonna change the color on our thin and our thick outlines. I'm gonna change it to just your standard green screen green. So now if I switch to the FaceTime camera, the first thing you'll notice is my background's a little bit different. That's because it's around 30 minutes later, my doorbell rang and I got a little bit distracted. So apologies for any continuity errors, but hopefully this still makes sense. Also, the green effect is working. The green effect, the outline effect is working. Uh, which is pretty cool. So what we can do now is we can come down to this thin segmentation texture and adjust our mask size. So if we pull it all the way down, you'll see it pushes inside and into my features. And if we drag it out, then we end up with this cool, like outward projecting aura line, essentially, which is kind of cool. You can adjust the colors of it. So if you come up to the thin line, you can change the color of it to blue or red or just about anything that you like. I'll leave it green for now. And we'll also back down a little bit so that everything goes back to the way it was. And now I'll show you what the thick segmentation looks like. So if we drag that all the way up, you get a pretty similar effect, but obviously with a much thicker line. And again, you can change the color of this, adjust it any way you see fit. But rather than adjust the colors in here manually, what I'm gonna do now is just connect up a patch. So if we hit this library button here, I can search for patches. You can go into patch assets and add them manually. You can do a little experimentation and see what works best for you. I'm gonna be using the color cycles patch. So if I type that in, I can pull this up. I think it's a pretty cool visual effect. So I'm gonna take this and drag it into our patch editor. If you don't have this open, then you can hit view at the top in your menu bar, 
show hide patch editor and that will make disappear down here. So drag your color cycles patch in and then take your textures, your thick outline and your thin outline and connect those up. So hit the texture button to create patches out of them and then connect them up here just like this. And you can already see the effect working. What I'm gonna do now is get rid of this green original color. So I'm just gonna make that white again uh, for both of them here. So that we get the full rainbow color effect from the color cycles patch. It's moving a bit fast right now. So I'm gonna adjust the duration. A usual Instagram story is 15 seconds. So I'll make it 15 seconds. I'm gonna check this box so that it starts from a random color every time. And I'm also, also gonna hit the reverse so that once it hits the end of the 15 second cycle, it will just reverse back on itself rather than abruptly jump to a new color. Just creates a more seamless effect, I think. Uh, so yeah, as you can see, that's that working pretty well. I think it's a pretty cool effect. You can come back into your thick segmentation and pull that way down and bring the thin one up and it works just the same with both. So you can see the colors are still changing here. Something that you can play around with maybe adding a few layers of this, seeing if you can get like, like multiple colors stacked further and further out. I think it's a very simple effect. Most people have probably seen a video about this from a year or two ago somewhere online but i thought i'd update it and show you how it works now with the most recent version of spark ar let me know in the comments what you thought of this video whether you like this tutorial what you want to see next don't forget to subscribe to the channel i make tutorials i make filter reviews i also live stream sometimes and all your feedback and support means the world to me so thank you for watching and i'll see you next time peace